it's kind of a double film today because I've just realised that I haven't actually filmed the May plot tour. It was something I was going to start doing at the beginning of each month. May have forgotten May. So, before I actually crack on with today's jobs, I thought I'm going to do the May plot tour because I want to see the before and after because I'm really hoping <laughs> that today we're going to get so much done that there's going to be such a difference in the plot. So, a quick plot tour for May 2024. I'm going to shut up. Let's go. So starting off with the front bay, that is the herb section over there with the salad and some flowers along the back there. Uh, we did have caterpillars. We did two have big, I don't know if they were weeds or what they were, but I liked them, I kept them. Daniel hated them, so <laughs> we were debating whether to keep them. Came down, caterpillars had taken over so and eaten them, so they've now gone. We have the French dwarf beans in. My uh, Budlia wisteria, Budsteria, I think it's called. That's doing well. Hot, oh, the greenhouse, well, the greenhouse. We all know how the greenhouse is doing. Like a mad jungle. Tomatoes are going to very soon die if I do not sort my life out, which is why I'm here today to do lots and lots of graft. Um, that's kind of gone mad. So I have my plant pots around my palette. I have just put manure around each of my roses base, um, taking away the wood chipping. This is the onion and garlic bed that is just, if you can see them in there, you've got a good eye. Green gauge, that is doing lovely. This is its first year. This we got with the plot. Last year it did nothing. This year we have these, which I'm assuming are apples, but I've not grown them before, so I haven't got a clue. Um, so we'll see. In here, the asparagus that I planted last month, or a couple of months ago, has done nothing. So I'm now having a pumpkin in there. In here are the carrots. Let's have a little sneaky peek. Mm. They've been eating some of them. They're looking kind of yellow, but do you know what? As far as it goes for us growing carrots, they're actually doing all quite all right. Um, the chuck that walking around my water bowl. Um, the Romanesco that's planted beginning of this week are still alive. I didn't kill them after Mike. My dramas are getting attacked by ants. And trying to plant them without being eaten alive. Uh, the dead bed, as I call it, actually have some little chards growing, which I chucked them in one day because I was bored and I wanted to plant something because I was feeling all depressed and wanted to grow. Um, so I just chucked some chard down, rainbow chard, and it's actually worked. The leeks are starting to do something, and the shallots. My rhubarb, my very sad rhubarb. I don't know what's happened. It just died. <laughs> I mean, it's quite a few people that I like it. So I know it's not just mine, but still sad. I want one that's, maybe I should get a couple. So I have it throughout the the season. Um, this bed is ready for the pumpkins and the pumpkin arch. That is ready for the parsnips, which I know we're late on getting in. What was that behind me? Who knows? Strawberries need to cover these today. Cause like, I actually have quite a few. Last year. I mean, look at that. 
Isn't that beautiful? We thinned them out. Took loads of them away because this whole bed was just one giant strawberry. But that's gone. That's ready for something. Potatoes. They are doing good. I need to, I suppose, bring down some of the earth onto it. So that'll be another part of the job today. Arch is going to go here and here. I mean, that's my fruit cage. Another overgrown plot. Overgrown. Peas are in here, which they're just getting demolished. But not by birds. So, Dan's mission today. Uh, we have lots of wood to build the bays around the beds. Overgrown. Overgrown. But it's nice to see the violas that I grew from seed, which is very nice. New dawn. Matt's starting to come out nicely. And here is <laughs> hopefully, oh, there is some left, some beetroot. They will be freed today. Pear tree. This is the first season we've had it, so who knows why. Artichoke. Once again, did get eaten. But somehow managing to survive. Which is good. And that one he's sorting as well. Um, ba -da -bam. what else to show you uh, we had the drama of the fruit cage being stolen oh crap it's actually more than half I thought it was just eh, focus free so we still need to put the roof on that from where someone stole our netting but lots of berries are starting to come out already on there I think that has to be the quickest plot tour without going into too much detail. So, okay, I'm gonna crack on with the jobs and hopefully next time I do a plot tour, it's gonna to be so much better. Thanks for watching, bye.